Welcome to the Bud Chiari Syndrome. In this video, we will review the unusual manifestation of hepatic vein thrombosis. In the next few minutes, we will discuss the following take-home points. The syndrome refers to occlusion of hepatic veins or the hepatic portion of the inferior vena cava. Presentation can be acute, subacute, or chronic. About 50% of cases are due to an underlying myeloproliferative neoplasm. Let's first discuss the underlying pathophysiology. The Bud Chiari syndrome is de defined as venous outflow tract obstruction. This often happens when there is partial or complete occlusion of the right hepatic vein, left hepatic vein, and or middle hepatic vein. It also could happen with obstruction in the hepatic portion of the inferior vena cava. About 50% of cases will have an underlying myeloproliferative neoplasm with an associated JAK2 mutation. Let's discuss the clinical presentation. A minority of patients, about 1%, will present an acute or fulminant liver failure with evidence of acute liver injury as demonstrated by elevated transaminases and hypobilirubinemia. Hepatic encephalopathy typically develops within eight weeks of the appearance of jaundice. Patients will also have coagulopathy, as demonstrated by elevated PT and APTT. About 20% of patients will present with acute Bud Chiari syndrome, which evolves over a few weeks. Patients typically present with intractable ascites and hepatic necrosis. Patients typically present with severe right upper quadrant pain and hepatomegaly. Jaundice and ascites may not be apparent initially, but often develop rapidly. Variceal bleeding may also occur. A majority of patients present with either subacute or chronic disease. About 15 to 20 percent of these patients are asymptomatic. Subacute presentation typically develops in up to three months. Patients typically have minimal ascites and may have already developed venous collaterals. Patients who present with chronic Bud Chiari syndrome typically present with hepatic cirrhosis and its accompanying sequelae. Let's briefly discuss etiology. Most cases of Bud Chiari syndrome are due to an underlying myeloproliferative neoplasm. To this end, the finding of Bud Chiari syndrome should warrant JAK2 mutation testing. Other less common causes include malignancy, oral contraceptive use or pregnancy, a hypercoagulable state, the presence of abdominal infection, and a rheumatologic disorder such as Bichette's syndrome. Finally, let's discuss management. The primary treatment strategy is to prevent clot propagation through anticoagulation. Secondly, the goal is to restore the patency of thrombosed veins through thrombolysis, angioplasty, or stenting. Additionally, treatment involves decompressing the liver using a transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt, or TIPS. Also, prevent or manage complications, including treatment of portal hypertension and, if needed, liver transplantation. Finally, if identified, treat the underlying condition. In summary, the Bud Chiari syndrome refers to occlusion of the hepatic veins or the hepatic portion of the inferior vena cava. Presentation can be acute, but the majority of patients will be subacute or chronic. About 50% of cases will be due to an underlying myeloproliferative neoplasm. This ends our video on the Bud Chiari syndrome, an unusual thrombotic disorder involving thrombosis of the hepatic veins.